Hi, this is Jackie Mosney with IEOR 191's Smartphone Patent War course. This week's focus will be on specific patents, and I will be discussing a patent actually that Apple is now in dispute with, with Samsung for the Nexus Galaxy. So, do you guys love it when you try to go to a URL and you type in the first two letters and right away the browser immediately knows what you're looking for? So this is a specific feature that's been patented by Apple specifically and it was created in August 1995, that's when it was filed, and it was issued September 9th, 1997, and the title of it is Graphical User Interface Using Historical List with Field Classes, and it was written by Stephen P. Capps. So as I said, the plaintiff in this case is Apple, and the defendant is Samsung on the Galaxy Nexus. So a little bit of background information on this is it's literally, as I was just explaining, the feature on browsers that allows you to type in just a few letters, and whatever kind of comes up in your history or that's often used will complete, the address will be completed by the URL itself from the browser you're using. So it also lists potential and relevant URLs presented by the browser and after entering a few characters and it's pretty much going with what's most well known or logged into your history. Um, some basic information covered in the abstract are parts such as um, that the data implement techniques for a computer and it provides a user with a list of historical and potential choices for data that's trying to be retrieved. Also, it's a historical list that displays to the user so that the user can implement data by selecting an item from historical list being displayed. It pretty much goes back and forth between that and frequently used URLs. Also, the history can be shared between different applications that, it, that are executed on the same device, either currently or at different times. By sharing the data between the applications, the historical list can become more useful and valuable to the user and therefore will improve the ease and the use easier since it's retrieving once, you know, added information. Also, if Apple enforces this patent successfully against Chrome, it can make a serious problem for Google since a lot of the features that people want, or like I guess a basic feature that people want from using a URL is to type in a few things and it immediately knows what you want. Um, it's almost like a form of like artificial intelligence where it right away can sense what we want before we've even completed the action. Thank you for tuning in. See you next week. Bye.